everyone, back with another YouTube video. This is kind of like a bike build, but a little bit different because this is a, this is a team bike and not necessarily uh, one of my team bikes. This is just a practice bike from uh, the KMR race team. Uh, I've got about 15, 16 hours on this bike alone. Uh, we just got back from Kansas doing some part testing. So I figured I'd kind of show you guys what I'm riding right now, my new number, and uh, yeah, get into it before we get to uh, the race bikes for the new season. So to kind of start this off, this is the uh, the KMR Racing uh, KTM 450. This is a 2025 version, so it's the newest updated frame. Uh, so far, I really love this bike. It's been uh, pretty awesome for me. Back to exactly what I've really enjoyed uh, about two wheels and the most comfortable on. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked to be on part of the team. Uh, the bike is amazing, the team has been amazing, so let's get into some of the products that we're running. So obviously to start out, we are back on REP suspension, Mark Johnson suspension. Uh, been with him for the last like seven years besides 2024. Uh, yeah, so far we are running the KYB internals, which makes it down to the billet lugs, KYB internal, and both spring fork with production rear shock WP, uh, but with all REPs adjustments and uh, so on. So the shock and fork were pretty, uh, pretty well together. We are running the ASV billet levers, uh, clutch and front brake. Some carbon works guards from uh, Moto Whips, ASV top mounts. As you can see, there is also a Git uh, ECU on this bike. OEM split clamps. A Cherubis plastic. This is the aftermarket, well it's a, it's a KTM tuner where you can tune the stock ECU. Since we are not running the stock ECU, I use it for the Lit Pro services so I can track my lap times. We have a different uh, front axle bolt that just uses the 3 8 drive uh, socket. Makes it a little bit quicker and easier for uh, changing out your front axle. As always, MX-34's front and rear. Uh, yeah, obviously not new tires right now. We have been riding, but as always, we will be running the MX-34 tires. I am currently running Kite Hubs with DID STX rims. I'm also on the EBC oversized front brake rotor and standard size rear rotor. We are running a full Yoshimura system. Uh, it's a little beat up, but it's a, just a full stainless system for practice. Works really well. It's really helped with the power actually on this bike quite a bit. We are also using a Recluse uh, clutch system uh, and clutches, just a torque drive. Uh, yeah, so it's still just manual, no, uh, no auto clutch running some uh, Raptor pegs. These are actually uh, stainless. They are not tied just to last a little bit longer for, uh, for practice preseason. I am running the G2 throttle system, uh, same as Star Yamaha. Uh, we are running the 25K uh, throttle tube adjustment, however you want to call that. And then I am also running the Nihilo split button with a Moto Whips cover to keep it from hitting that off button. I am still using a Renthal full waffle that I cut the top ribs off of. It's a little bit thicker uh, than the single layer, uh, but not as thick as a dual layer. And we have mounted up a pair of 827 fat bars. We are running VP Pro 6. We are on the Guts full seat, um, not the Phantom foam. We are running a little bit of a lighter foam, so it's a little bit more uh, soft. I don't like a too hard of a seat. You kind of, with Supergrass Mention, you start to feel the bumps a bit too much. We are using a Nihilo uh, oil breather hose and also the breather hose filter, as you can see in there. Behind the frame guards, we are using uh, anchor tape, kind of saves the frame, but I will be using a full anchor tape grip across this entire plastic piece. Uh, I kind of like the wider uh, plastic covers uh, rather than just being on the frame. I feel like I can get a little bit more grip on the bike all the way through here when I use the, the full uh, guard. I am using the REP CR22 uh, link and knuckle. 
Throughout the bike, there's quite a bit of work connection parts um, using their axle blocks, um, as well as their titanium chain adjusters, the oil fill cap, and also the rear brake reservoir cap, and quite a few other parts, such as the whole shot device. We are running Renthal sprockets with a DID chain. Uh, the Renthal sprockets, we are running a 1352. Uh, more than likely we'll go to a 1351 once we get an engine in the bike, but as of right now, 1352 Renthal gearing and the DID 520 ERT chain. I am running the Kite uh, clutch slave cylinder. I uh, noticed that I get a little bit more feel with the clutch um, using that slave cylinder over the stock one. I am running a Twin Air Power Flow kit inside there. Uh, I also use the air box cover with more holes. Uh, I feel like there's a little bit more throttle response with that, so I will stick with that during Supercross. The bike is also outfitted in Bike Graphics um, Graphic Kit. That is a sponsor of the team. Uh, it looks really good. I've been a big fan of them so far, and they go on really well as, also. And for 2025, I will be running the number 122. Uh, as an amateur, my number was always 12. So to kind of put a 12 in there is pretty cool. And then uh, growing up, childhood, he childhood hero was always Chad Reed. So the 122 is uh, pretty fitting. As of right now, we are running the KTM Power Parts uh, front disc cover, as well as the skid plate. That is subject to change, but as of right now, that is what we're using. I am, I am using the FCP front titanium bolt. Uh, I notice I get a little bit more front end traction with that bolt, but however, for the engine mounts, I am running the REP, uh, I think they're TH71 engine mounts. Uh, quite a bit more flex to the bike, but I noticed that there's quite a bit more uh, traction with the rear, rear tire and front tire and uh, gives it more planted feel, especially through the chop. I do silicone the shift tip as well as the, the pivot just to keep a little extra uh, dirt out as well as I do run a in the Hilo uh, coolant line that comes straight down, doesn't go into the frame. I run it through two little holes to uh, give it a little bit more of like a placement. Um, but yeah, that way the, no coolant overfills into the frame and leaks out of the frame. It's, it just runs straight out the side. And then if you know a KTM, there are some holes in the frame up in here. Uh, I do fill those with some foam just to keep dirt and grime out. So that's the bike I've been on right now for preseason. Uh, we're getting ready to start at the Lawrence compound to really grind out these next few months before Anaheim won January 11th. It's gonna come up sooner than you think, but uh, that's the bike I'm on right now. There are some things that will probably change and, and I'll get a little bit more comfortable with. We have uh, an engine to go in this thing, in this thing still that we have not tested yet. Um, and I'm sure we'll do a little bit more testing with suspension and maybe some other parts. But as of right now, that's the bike I'm on. It's the bike I felt the most comfortable I've ever felt since I started riding a motorcycle. This bike is unbelievable. So if you have any questions about any parts or anything, leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you guys and help you guys out with your KTM 450s. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna go ride this thing. I'll see you guys in the next video.